Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. When you do subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you'll be notified when I release another video. I try to release videos on a regular basis. Um, but with that said, let's get into today's video. Boy, have you noticed, if you've been keeping up with Ron Rivera's uh, press conferences, have you noticed a big change in how he has been addressing the uh, the reporters in these conferences? It is cold, man. It is very cold. Big change. You know, before it was kind of a chummy thing, you know. He, he was a little bit more free with... Uh, given information no i mean not necessarily like he's he's given away all of the you know company secrets but you know he he was a little bit more relaxed it seemed like and and at the same time you know he kept things close to the vest that needed to be close to the vest but in in the last couple of um press conferences he has been downright cold to most of those reporters I mean, you know, just like Bill Belichick type of answers. I mean, Bill Belichickish. <laughs> I mean, he has. He has been downright cold with the media, and it's had them in a loop. Like, you know, you can hear them kind of struggling with trying to come up with, okay, what else can I ask him? All right, obviously, I need to do a 180 on my questions because he's not going to answer anything. Um, the only, the only reporter, it seemed like that you could tell that he was okay with was John Keim. You know, and John Keim is a well-respected, uh, Washington beat reporter for the, the commanders. And usually Keim is not going to be one that's going to ruffle a lot of feathers. I mean, he's going to, He's going to get the information and all that. I mean, that's that's what a good reporter does. But, you know, he, he's not going to go out of his way to make anybody upset or angry or especially, you know, the coaches. I mean, he's he's going to he's going to ask the tough questions, but he's not going to do it in a, a jerkish manner. Right. And <clears throat> but apparently Ron Rivera got really upset with that story that was released especially the week of the Philadelphia Eagles game where it came down to the, the story that was released with the Jimmy Garoppolo um, uh, story. Uh, it, w it was basically, um, you know, Washington was uh, going to go after Jimmy Garoppolo, but of course, you know, they got scared away by his uh, shoulder surgery, and so they backed off from Jimmy and went with Carson instead. So it was creating the narrative that Carson Wentz really wasn't the commander's guy all along, that they would rather went with Jimmy Garoppolo this whole time. And Ron Rivera was just very furious about that, very furious uh, with that story being released right before the Philadelphia Eagles game. He probably felt that that somehow got into the head of Carson Wentz, and I don't know if it did or not. Um, but he, he just, he was so furious that from this point on, I think that he is just not saying anything else than what he has to the bare minimum to, you know, to, to reporters. And so you may be seeing a, a difference now, of course, if the commanders start getting on a roll and start winning some games, you may see a, a happier Ron Rivera at the podium and you know he, he may loosen up a little bit but i think until then you're going to see a ron rivera who is just right now he he's at a crossroads i think I, I really think he's at a crossroads and he realizes that things are not working things are not working right now and he's trying to be optimistic and he's saying he's a very optimistic guy and he's trying to tell everybody look we're only you know three or four games into the season but you're three or four games into the season. Then you, you're five games into the season. Then you're six games into the season. Suddenly, you're halfway in the middle of the season, and your team is sunk. 
you know, we got Dallas this weekend. Dallas finds some way to win football games, even without Dak Prescott. And Dak will probably be back, probably not this weekend, but he's going to be back next weekend, more than likely. And so that means that Dallas is probably going to be a decent team as well. You got the Eagles and you got the Cowboys that are probably going to be tops in the the, uh, division this year. And you're already looking at, you know, you're 0-1 in the division because you got trampled by the Eagles. And so now you're looking at um, a very important division matchup against the Cowboys. It's almost necessary that Washington wins this football game this weekend without Dak Prescott. If they don't win this game, I really feel like they're sunk. This is almost the must-win game for the Commanders. Um, not only that, you know, they're, you know, they're they got a two-game losing streak. And the two games that they really got their hind ends handed to them. I know that they they came back and made it a game of it against Detroit, but for all intents and purposes, they got their, their butts handed to them. And so I really feel like this is must game, the must-win game for Washington. And if they don't win this game, you're going to see more of those press conferences like that with Ron Rivera. And who knows, you may not even see a lot more press conferences with Ron Rivera if the team keeps going like this. Obviously, the team has not improved. And that's a big red flag for for this organization. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, please like it. Uh, share it with others you think that might be interested in watching the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you'd like to support this channel in any other way other than just doing stuff like that, you can support me by, well, doing this. <laughs>